And now, the 2009 Energy and Environment Award in the category of Government. The finalists were the California Hydrogen Highway Network, the Carbon Capture and Storage Initiative of the Province of Alberta, Canada, the Colonias Project of Texas's State Energy Conservation Office, and the Cow Power Program of the Central Vermont Public Service Corporation. And the winner is the Carbon Capture and Storage Initiative of the Province of Alberta, Canada for developing significant new policies to meet energy and environmental objectives. While others talk, Alberta is acting. Our province was the first jurisdiction in North America to adopt a climate change plan backed by legislation. One of the most impressive things about Alberta is that they're taking real steps in addressing these issues head on and really putting their money where their mouth is. The government of Alberta have taken a very, very serious stand with respect to, um, number one, our responsibility uh, as a secure supplier of energy uh, to the world and mainly uh, in uh, North America. Uh, and we were in a very fortunate position where uh, our, our resources had provided Albertans uh, with some uh, surplus uh, dollars in our, in our budget. We were also the first to require reporting and emission reductions by large industry, a move that resulted in 2.6 million tons of real reductions. Alberta will allocate $4 billion to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, equal to taking more than a million cars off the road. Of this $4 billion, $2 billion will go towards projects to advance carbon capture and storage and two billion will be invested in energy saving public transit in Alberta. It's definitely the largest commitment of any government uh, of, the, of the size that we are. Through our two billion dollar investment I hope to see three to five large-scale projects developed with the potential to permanently store up to five million tons of carbon dioxide per year by 2015. We will cut projected emissions by 200 megatons, that's 50% by 2050. We're a province of 3.2 million people uh, and we've come to the table with $2 billion uh, legislation, by the way, uh, in place uh, in the House right now uh, to guarantee that that money will be spent for carbon capture and storage. It's about leading research and technology that we can market to the world. Accepting the 2009 Aspen Institute Energy and Environment Award in the category of Government for the Province of Alberta is Energy Minister Mel Knight. Presenting the award is journalist Eric Pooley, author of the forthcoming book Climate Wars and a judge of this year's awards.